And now, on with the show. Imperial Pearl and the Cultured Pearl Association of America presents Pearl Talks. Welcome to another Pearl Talks. We're here in Fiji with Justin and Leanne Hunter. I think that you guys just pretty much started out. You're the new guys on the block. So what's it like being the new kids on the block? I definitely wish we had all, all the knowledge, accumulated knowledge of, of some of the established people like Juan or Brenelec or Paz Paley. You know, we come, we come at it from a, a fresh perspective, a younger perspective. We, we've never gone through the the incredible boom of the pearl industry. We, we come at it at a time when it's um, relatively tough. We're very optimistic and we're forward thinking and, and we have a fresh approach and a, and a positive approach to, to what we're doing. How did you get out here? How did you decide to go into pearl farming? Tell us your story. But my mother's family is from this town here called Savu Savu in Fiji. And uh, I got a degree in marine biology in the US, went to high school there and um, when I had the opportunity to come back here, and I was always looking for that opportunity as a young boy leaving Fiji, the first thing you do is, is look for how do you get back home. And, um, and pearl farming, I was, I was able to come across people on the big island of Hawaii who were doing some research in hatcheries, and that got my interest going. So has nature ever been a problem out here for you? Uh, any challenges that have, have occurred? I think all pearl farmers, because, because of where we're located, which is in the tropics, we always have issues with, with well, natural disasters, if you want to call it. Um, quite often and most commonly, we, we do have hurricanes that come through and they can be completely devastating. Well, what we got here is, is the result of Hurricane Thomas, which, which affected um, Fiji last March. That was about a year ago. And we were really unfortunate that we lost quite a few spout collector lines. We had over 220 in the water at the time of the hurricane, and only, we're only left with 50 of them. You know, high, you know it was high category four, um, slipping into a category five and it very slow moving which left us exposed to, to huge sea swells surges and we, we lost a lot and and right now what we did is we basically found all these collectors out there and this isn't all of them by any means that are just instead of been nicely spread out we, we've got them in big balls like this and you know we're trying to recover what we can off of them it's not just specific to us Everywhere that pearl farms are, you know, weather and, and specifically cyclones are an issue. You have to be prepared for them. We rely on so many things, even La Nina, El Nino weather events have, have some pretty major effects on pearl quality. Also the amount of oysters available, CO2 content in the ocean is creating problems with, with larval cycles and being able to build their, their calcium shells. Um, so, yeah, it, it's, it's getting, it's difficult, but you know, it's part of the aspect of pearl farming. You are working in nature, with nature, and in nature, and um, some of these things are, are very hard to control. <laughs> 